Hello everyone, welcome back to another great episode of Rehana's Cuisines. Today we're gonna do a recipe that I um, just happened to put up on Facebook, uh, just the pictures of these um, candies. Now these are baobab candies, or which is known as uh, where we used to eat it, buya, buya no buko or buya no powder. And um, we get, you know, I found out that you can get that on Amazon and I have done a baobab video if you wanna refer to it, I'll put a link up there. Um, so I just happened to try it because um, we had some that we had gotten from a Africa and my husband finished the whole thing. He loves it. So I thought, you know, instead of asking somebody to bring it, you know, what can I do? What can I do? So I was thinking about it for a couple of weeks. The first time I did it, completely ruined it. It was so hard. It was horrible. But um, I had to try it. I had to have this work for me. So then I decided to play around with the recipe and I thought about the recipe and finally, um, I was successful and I did make these uh, really cute little baobab candies um, So today we're gonna do the recipe um, And, I, and the, like I said the first time I did it I didn't even do the recipe. Uh, I didn't even measure so very simple ingredients We're gonna be making sugar syrup, but wait wait don't turn off the YouTube don't just um, Trust me on this. I'm gonna explain this to you. And if you don't have a candy thermometer, we're gonna time it. I'm gonna show you how, um, what heat I'm gonna put it at. So I promise you we're gonna make this work, okay? So, because I know whenever I say sugar syrup or chancy, people get very, very like, oh my God, I can't do this. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. So uh, let's start off the chancy first, and then um, we'll talk about the baobab just a little bit. So I'm gonna put the heat right now at about medium high not medium low medium high so you can see the heat right now and then um, as far as the ingredients I've got one cup of uh, water one cup of sugar I've got some red food coloring which is optional cardamom powder which is optional and a little bit of salt we're gonna add in there just to cut the um, sweetness and the sourness and then we're going to be using the baobab powder and these are available on Amazon. Pani or water, sugar or khan, Red food coloring or lal rang. Elchi or cardamom powder. Pinch of salt, kidney muck. So now you want this, uh, I've already timed it. We did start this at five. And if you see here, you see some bubbles in there. Um, that's good, no matter what your heat is, don't put it on high, don't put it, just put it on either medium high to a little bit lower than a little bit than the high. But um, we want to take this temperature up to 190 and we don't wanna cook this more than 190 because then you're gonna have what I did the first time, which was a hard, uh, like a hard candy, okay? So we're already at 190, so I'm gonna shut this off. I'm just gonna be adding a pinch of um, cayenne pepper in it. Now, um, you know, the, the, this candy is supposed to have a sweet, sour, and um, um, spicy flavor to it. Like, uh, you know, I would say this is like a Mexican candy, and I love all Mexican candy, just love it. I also add the cayenne in there to slow down my husband from eating all of them up. I mean, I literally, literally, I had to hide these away from him because honestly, he would have finished all of them. So now we got all our ingredients in here except for the baobab, okay? Just gonna put this down so I don't want to. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure how much baobab we're gonna need to be putting in this, um, in this sugar syrup. So we're gonna start off with measuring um let's do half a cup first because you know i just want to make sure that you don't want to add too much in there so i'm sorry but i'm just gonna 
We'll start with half a cup and then if we need more, we can just add more in there. So you can see here that I've added half a cup in here and I'm stirring it. And you just wanna stir it well. And I knew that you would, we would need more than um, half a cup. So now again, what I'm going to do is put in another half a cup. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention also that the one that we, we used to get in Africa, you know, had a lot of sand in it. And um, although this is, I find it pretty pricey, I, I make my husband um, baobab juice every night. He loves it. It's really good for your health too, so I make it for him every night. So I find it really expensive. Um, but I think it's worth it because it, you're paying for it, you know, really being good product when it comes to you, okay? So we're gonna mix this, and I still feel like we're gonna need another half a cup in there. So here you can see I've added a total of one and a half cups of baobab powder, and I think that that's gonna be perfect. If I find it, and I do find it just a little sticky, I might need to add maybe a couple tablespoons more in here because you want it um, to the consistency where it's gonna uh, thicken up to where you can either form them into tiny little rounds, um, bites, or you can put it in a um, silicone uh, little shapes, or you can also put it in a, um, a little tray and make them into bars if you wanted to. But I, I don't know, for some reason I love the, love to have those into the round balls. It just makes it look nice. And then if you, then and the color usually when we get it is even darker than this. So you could add more food coloring in here if you wanted to. I'll just add, well, maybe I'm just gonna leave it. I'm not gonna add any more. I think we have enough, it's fine. But if you wanted to, it's usually really, really maroon, dark red color when we get it. But, um, so, and you want to do a taste test, which of course I would love to do a taste test. And you want to try it, so you want to make sure. It is so good, oh my God. I'm sure all of you guys are salivating, so make sure you order your baba powder. powder. And I got this on Prime, right Hassan? We ordered this on Prime, so we had it like in what, two, three hours? No, the next day? Oh, it was two days. So, if you're planning to make this, Plan ahead and go ahead and order it. Um, so um, I still feel like we don't have enough of the chili pepper in here or the cayenne powder. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. But you can just test it out. Now see, when I'm touching it, I still feel like there's um, some coming in my hand. So I feel like I need to add just a little bit more baobab powder in there. Uh, I added about three teaspoons in here and um, that's gonna be completely on what type of bow powder you're gonna get because the consistency will vary. So I just wanna show you that you might need three, um, oh, I mean, sorry, we might need one and a half cups of bow powder and you'll be done. Or you might need to add just a couple, couple teaspoons more to come up with the consistency that I am looking for. So you see how first, at first when we did it, you could tell, but now I can tell that um, I have some texture here that means that I'll probably be able to make the rounds in it. All right, just mix it really well. And then I think it has cooled down to the point. The other thing is also wearing gloves really helps. Um, it won't stick. Um, so now I've started rolling these up. And um, you can see that for some reason, you know, when you wear these gloves, it just gives it a really nice clean finish. If you wanna compare the two, you can see here, this one, I had not worn gloves. I had just, um, so you can see these little, um, I don't even know, crusty on top. But these are really, they um, with the gloves, they just turn out so nice. The, the finishing product is really nice and, um, really nice and um, shiny or, or smooth. Not, sm sm not shiny, smooth. But, um, so, and then I also, before closing the video, wanted to, I'm um, sure lots of you have a question that came in your mind that why I don't recommend this um, baobab bao powder. Um, it's not that I don't recommend it. You can get it because I'm using it. It's just that when I did try the raw product, um, it has a little bit of bitterness to it. And so that is why, and I wanted to also mention that I do not get any money um, from these companies um, to pick any products. So I'm, when I say that I recommend something or I like something, it's just from purely what um, I like. 
so I will put the picture up in the end just so that if you anybody wants to order that um, you can because you can eat it just like that and it tastes so good but um, these videos are not funded I get a little bit from YouTube but um, there the beginning of the video you will see a little thing that shows up here on the left that says if you would like to support my channel and I would highly recommend that if you could you know there's a lot of testing that goes on and um, sometimes there's a lot of waste so if you guys can donate anything that you know it doesn't have to be you know a lot but whatever little you can donate um, just keeps me going with um, buying more products trying more stuff and getting the absolute um, absolute down to the T um, ingredients uh, weight and everything and explanation and everything and I would really appreciate it so thank you so much for joining me on this episode of Rihanna's Cuisines hope you can join me here next time with another great video see you then friends